Bon Meridian is a brand that was originally founded by Air France um, back in like the 1970s. And it's been passed around, eventually made its way to Starwood, then Marriott acquired Starwood, and so now it's in a Marriott brand. And they got like a hundred and something, I want to say like 110, 115 properties worldwide, but they're also a growing brand. I know they've got twice as much that in the pipeline. So I'm very interested to see how this hotel lives up to the brand standards, which is upper class hotel brand. They are well known for their design features. Very interesting, very dark in here. Dark marble. Not only just the floors, but the walls are a dark marble with a dark wood accent. Kind of a grated wood accent. Looks like they got some kind of art exhibit here. This art exhibit is really great. You got calligraphy, it runs the whole second floor. It's really nice. So I've checked into the La Meridian here in Zhongshan. This is one of the newest hotels in Zhongshan, having opened up uh, about a year ago, maybe a year, year and a half ago. And I actually know one of the managers here, but I haven't told her that I'm coming because I wanted a, a completely unbiased experience here. So I checked in, I asked for a high room. They gave me a uh, high room, 19th floor. There's 25 floors total. So the view is of Zhongshan. The location of this hotel is not that great. It's off of the it's off of the expressway, but it's in Gankou, which is one of the northern districts of the city of Zhongshan. It's kind of far from the center of town. It's unless you're doing business in this district, there's really no reason for you to come here. But it is a growing district and there's an awful lot of construction all around me, especially new apartments. So this being a La Meridian, the Marriott brand of a higher caliber, typically of a higher caliber, you expect very, very high quality. Let's take a look and explore the room together. So the first thing I noticed is that the floor needs to be swept. That's quite unfortunate. It being a dark floor, it shows white flakes and dirt very, very easily. The floor is dirty. Also the, this is very cheaply put in this wallpaper and you can see it's not a very high quality. That's very unfortunate. And I have this uh, sliding door here for the bathroom. Let's go check out the bathroom. Okay. The bathroom is large and minimal. and wet and dirty. Oh, I hate to see that. What's this? Gross. Yeah. The bathtub is kind of a matte finish bathtub, which I've seen in many places, they easily get scuffed. So it's pretty hard to keep these things clean, but this one looks pretty clean. All the amenities of the big giant mirror, one sink, which is fine. Lower end um, quality. These are the lower end amenities. Again, this is billed as a five star property. The public areas are quite nice. So far, I'm not impressed with the housekeeping department for a property that is supposed to be five star, which it isn't by the way, it's four star. It doesn't have the five star amenities. Even though, it's, even though they bill it as a five star, it's not. I'm gonna to continue to point that out in every hotel I go to. The housekeeping department, it's, uh, it needs some improvement because uh, this room is filthy dirty. The presentation of the bed uh, could be better. Um, it's not the perfectly made bed. I mean, the sheets are clean, obviously, but the bed itself, you can see, the presentation is just lacking. You can see that they really quickly made this room up. And quite honestly, for a property of this caliber, it should be better. But the bed is super soft and I'm happy to see that. A different place to put the mini bar and tea. 
So one additional water here. So three bottles of water, complimentary. This looks like a fridge, but it's empty. Well, at least they give you some glassware. No mini bar, completely empty. They took a deposit for the mini bar, but they don't provide a mini bar. The work area is modern. I like these kinds of work areas. They have this dining, circle dining table slash desk area that you can uh, multitask. And I actually like the location because here you can plug in your laptop to the TV and use it as an extended desktop so you can be more productive with your work. That is a good idea and I think more hotels need to do this. Look at this, fit and finish, fit and finish. If you're gonna put paper here, you've got to put them in brand new, nice pieces of paper. These are used and been touched by many, many people. God knows who. This, when I see things like this in a room, the quality of this paper, I want to know how long has it been here? How many people have touched it? It just gives the room a very dirty feel. I mean, when you see this, this needs to be replaced. The chair is very uncomfortable. It's not a good chair to work at. It's functional for sitting at this table and having a bite to eat. But long-term sitting here for work, definitely not. So again, continuing with the trend here in Asia about not having private bathrooms, this one does have a little grate, but you can very easily see through it. The toilet area is private, but that's it. This lounge chair looks really, really cool and functional. Um, but sitting in it long term, it's not comfortable, I have to admit. Here's my view from the 19th floor. This here and the one next to it here, these are giant furniture malls or international trade. So if you're here doing business, this is an excellent choice. It's very, very close. What is this? Oh, it's the compendium. So they put the compendium Underneath, that's strange. Never seen that before. Okay, so the Compendium Hotel Services. 48 R&B Caesar Salad. Uh, looks like the spa is closed. Swimming pool is really great. I love the colors. It's different, you know. For a tower hotel, it's got a very modern design. I kind of dig it. I mean, you can see just how dark everything is in here. It's really dark. You know, I have to admit, I really like how dark it is. It's got this sexy feel to it, it being so dark. It's hip and young, especially at night. One thing I did notice though, is the rounded corners of the marble here. So this fit and finish is pretty amazing is that the corners of the, of the walls, they're in marble and they're rounded. That is not a cheap thing to do. Coffee bar and lobby lounge. Very impressive. There's nobody here though, it's completely empty. They have these pods, check in pods for the lobby. That's a newer concept in hospitality that you're starting to see in a lot of newer, more hip branded hotels. Very, very cool design of the lobby, the interior. I'm sorry, there's a lot of noise from the construction next door. So right now you're gonna have some noise from the construction, but that's only temporary. That lasts maybe a year 
And of course the hotel will be here for much longer than that. So it's a continuously developing property and it's right next to a mall. And just like many of these tower hotels are next to a mall. Wow, this development is literally building after building after building of apartments. Wow. Check this out. Attention to detail. <laughs> Get this, this is happening a lot. I see this a lot. The car park is filled with these elevated uh, car, car spaces, which I don't like. I really don't like them. I have a small car and I'm barely able to fit it into these little car spaces. And I'm super, super worried about putting it up. I don't like that idea. If you have a large car, you cannot fit it in these little spaces. And uh, yeah, um, you're really SOL if you have a large car. I feel as though even though the design is unique and modern, uh, the fit and finish of the room itself and the cleanliness factor, I might have just gotten a bad day, uh, really disappointed me. Uh, you know, you, on the outside, it looks like a fantastic property, and when you come in, you get this feeling, this rush of sexiness, you know? It has this sexy feel to it. And when you first come in, you feel that. But in the room itself, it quickly goes away because of those fit and finish issues. So aside from the room being a little bit dirty, um, the, the doors for the closet, they're very large and when you open them, they actually block access in the hallway. I guess that could be a good thing depending on privacy, but it's very inconvenient if you want to get into the closet or get something out of the closet. It's, it's not good design, it really isn't. Uh, the other thing is, is the wood. The wood that they use as the uh, decoration, this grated wood in the bathroom and all over the property, it's a very low quality paint that they put on it. And already you can see it starting to chip away a little bit. It makes it look cheap and dirty and it's very flimsy and fragile. It won't take long before somebody, you know, in a mistakenly breaks one of those lattices and then you have to replace the whole thing. Uh, it might look cool, but um, but it's, it's, it's not built to last very long. Also, that wood grate does not give you privacy from the bedroom to the bathroom. You close it, but you can still easily see in and out. Uh, that is something that um, they're going to have to address in the future.